tonight. A little of the second round action, and it was a good round for Bazooka Lamone, I think. There's Bazooka with the long left hand. And another long left hand. Both of them landed to the head. At Flaxen, you hear the morning buzzer, meaning 10 seconds before the start of the next round. Clear out of there. Seconds and ESPN handheld cameraman. Bobby Chacon, the black crunch, the red stripes. Bazooka Lamone is in green. Nobody's been down. It's scheduled for 10, round number three. Chacon probably a shade ahead. Now, John Thomas, the referee, and he's a great referee, one of the best in the world. He warns Lamone. He said, this isn't wrestling. He almost threw Chacon down. And again, you have the southpaw. It's always an edge to be a southpaw. Left-hander like Chacon, simply because your opponent, the orthodox right-hander, doesn't see that many southpaws. He's not just good overhand right by Chacon to the left side of Lamone's face. Chacon and Lamone. Very tough to tell them apart, I guess. Some guys that I've left. But Chacon said before the fight, it did not bother him. The southpaw stands in the middle. A little less than two minutes left, round number three. Jim Healy, ringside of the fabulous form in Inglewood, California. On ESPN, your big time, big league sports network. Crowd is yelling, but Lamone ran, and Chacon barely grazed him with those punches. Turns there, Lamone, rather. Bazooka Lamone is like an octopus. Punches come from all directions. Every time Chacon hurts Lamone as he did there, Lamone fights back for Arden. I don't think uh, either one of them is going to be able to go 10 rounds at this pace. They're spending the ammunition early. They're firing the guns. One minute left. Round three. Scheduled for 10. Nobody down. Lamone, L-I-M-O-N, his first name is Rafael. Nobody calls him anything but Bazooka. Because uh, when he was in the Mexican Army, he was a bazooka man, fired the bazooka gun, and the name sort of stuck to him. Chacon, C-H-A-C-O-N. Exactly 25 seconds left, round three. Time Chacon starts a rally, Lamone just outbusies him, if there is such a word. Just throws in a flurry of punches. Bobby Chacon looks cool and confident and uh, not at all tired. Chacon claimed Lamone was uh, pulling all kinds of dirty tactics in their last fight, April 9 of last year, said he was trying to thumb me in the eye and everything else. And so they really do not like each other. You say, well, big deal. All are in there hitting each other. All fighters must dislike him. That's really not true. Fighters, it's, uh, it's a sport, a business first, the sport second, and 95% of the time, a fighter has nothing against his opponent, doesn't dislike him at all, but uh, this case comes under the 5% category.
scheduled for 10 early in the fourth round. Bobby Chacon is trying to turn it on and get off in front here in this round. Black trunks, red sequence against Pazuka. Chacon is not being hurt. He's covering up well. He lets Lamone fire enough punches. Two minutes left. One of those is going to get in there. Right hand hurt Lamone. A right hand to the chin hurt Lamone. Lamone is trying to hold. Chacon knows Lamone was shook. Shaken, pardon me. Fighter in the ring is the first one who knows his opponent has been hurt. And Chacon did it with a right hand. One right hand to the chin, and it wobbled Lamone. Lamone tried to grab it home. That's the tip. Lamone is not badly hurt, and he's come out of it. He's okay for now. So he takes another one. Schedule for 10, nobody down. I see Lamone, he's retreating and buying a little time. He's he's still a little shaken from that right to the chin early in this round. A big round for Bobby Chacon as Lamone fights back. But it has been Chacon's round. Lamone not doing any damage now. Chacon is covering up. Chacon was trying to kind of push into those ropes. Chacon not hurt. Zuga Lamone flurried, but uh, not much, not many of the punches landed. There we see light action, fourth round. Chacon, screen right. Zuka Lamone first to the center of the ring, the southpaw, the left-hander in the solid green trunks and black with the red sequence and the white shoes is Bobby Chacon. Nobody has been down, scheduled for 10. Lamone coming in left, going to the fourth round, but Chacon had a good round in the fourth. Chacon may be nicked around the eye. I thought I saw it about midway through the fourth round. Well, Lamone sees it now, and he is packing away. Alongside the left eye of Chacon, uh, Nick. Well, as long as it's at the side, it's now he'll get a warning. Lamone is throwing Chacon around the ring, grabs him behind the head and throws him. Referee warns him. You can't do that too many times. Referee will take a point away from him. Two minutes left, round five, scheduled for ten. Lamone had a long flurry late in round four, but Chacon was not hard at all. Chacon was picking off virtually every punch with the well. Arms, upper arms. Chaconis hasn't really turned his head where I can see too well where that cut is alongside the left eye. But the serious part, uh, spot, of course, is the dangerous spot is in the lid right up above the eye in the left. 
low left hand by Lamont. And Lamont just wrestles Chacon down. No knockdown, no knockdown. We still have had no knockdowns in the fight. Oh, yeah, there's now Chacon for the first time. Oh, he shows me the left side of his face. He does have a nick, and it's bleeding. Left corner, left down. Remember, Chacon's last fight right here in this corner ring. They had to stop it. And his eye was cut against uh, Alexis Arguello between the seventh and eighth round. And he's cut, corner left eye. Not serious right now, though. Exactly 30 seconds left. Fifth round, and Chacon is letting Mazuka bully him around the ring again. Chacon had a good round in the fourth, but Bazooka comes back, and he's winning the fifth. Bazooka probably a shade ahead in this fight against the hometown hero and the favorite. Ramon bleeding a little from the nose, but that's no big deal. That doesn't bother anybody. Now, back in Bobby Chacon's corner, they've already worked the cut alongside the left eye. By work, uh, that means close it out. So you're seeing the right eye. The cut's over on the other side, the left side. And uh, there he is. Now they've uh, stopped that uh, bleeding, and they've uh, thrown some Vaseline on it to sort of let the punches graze off. And that's not a serious cut right now. Not serious, no problem. For now, of course, it could get worse. Chacon is starting to pop a little bit around that left eye. Too. Left eye pop. Not to have much depth perception with just one eye. You can't see those punches coming. Bazooka Lamone, the green trunks, the underdog. Bobby Chacon, the black trunks, the red stripes. Nobody down, scheduled to 10. Early round six. Now John Thomas referee warns Bazooka again for low punching. Bazooka probably a shade ahead on the scorecard. So good right hand by Lamone. Right hook on that left cut left eye of Chicago. Two minutes left. This looks like upset so far if Chacon can keep it up. Uh, Lamone, I should say. Bazooka can keep it up. Three left. That's Bazooka. Remember, this is their third fight. Remember, four years ago, they fought the first time. Chacon out of shape was beaten decisively. Decision. Last time, Chacon was winning. That was last April 9. Was winning decisively when Lamone uh, had an eye cut. Head butt. Real low decision. Technical draw. Leading number three. But Chacon has yet to win one. One minute left. Round five. Round six. Big break. You get the feeling Chacon is not in as good shape as Lamone. Lamone has thrown three million punches in this fight already. And he doesn't seem tired yet. Bazooka seems like he's in better condition than Chacon. 30 seconds. Now the crowd is trying to strike up a chance for Chacon. Bob in. That left eye is starting to bleed more heavily now, Chacon. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby is the champ for Bobby Chacon, but it's not doing much good the last couple of rounds. 
Cohn's got big problems. Behind, up. Cohn needs the big punch. Hurt Lamont. again we try to peer in three corner men that's Joe Ponce Bobby's first manager right in the middle now here's Bobby he doesn't look tired though does he they've already uh, patched up that left eye Joe Ponce his original manager talks to him that Bobby managed himself for a while but uh, the left eye uh, cut has been closed for now it'll it'll open again open before so it'll open again Bobby Chacon, the black trunks, the white boxing shoes, and Bazooka Lamont, nobody down, scheduled for 10, round 7. Lamont appears ahead of the fight. Chacon's got another problem. The left eye, cut. Patched up. Cut closed in the corner between rounds, but it'll probably open again. Jim Healy ringside at the fabulous forum in Inglewood, California for ESPN. Incidentally, Jerry Buss, the owner of the forum, owner of the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Kings, actually passed along his regards to his good friends Chet Simmons and Scotty Connell uh, at ESPN headquarters in Bristol, Connecticut. a knockdown Chacon is being given what they call a standing eight count in other words that is scored as a knockdown against him even though the ring ropes held him up and we'll see the replay later Bill Zach our director will have it for us I think it was the right hand I'm not sure but it was one punch to the chin it buckled Chacon and the bottom rope of the ring strand held him up and there's a ton of time one minute and ten seconds left as Lamone goes for the knockout here in the seventh round, Bobby Chacon fights for his fistic life. This could be the end of the trail for Chacon at age 28. This could now watch the clock. Chacon may not last the round. The referee John Curtis has watched it carefully. He is thinking of stopping the fight if Chacon gets in any worse shape. Watch the referee. He observes closely. A lot of time left. 35 seconds. 30 seconds time is the whole story. Watching it carefully. The referee thinking of stopping it. 20 seconds. And Chacon apparently left eye bleeding, badly hurt, blood all over his face. He may be cut in the right eye, too. Chacon is going to survive round number seven. All right, let's follow Bobby Chacon to his corner. That's referee John Thomas, screen right. He wants to look and see. Now, Chico, oh, here comes the doctor. He'll come into your picture. Here he is. He, you see his back. Dr. Bernhard Schwartz. Now, wouldn't this be ironic? In his last fight here, just last November, in this same ring, Chacon's fight was stopped between the seventh and eighth rounds on an eye cut. But no, it will not be stopped. The doctor says, no, nah, his eye is not that bad. Let it go on. All right, let's take a look. Let's back it up and look at the knockdown. There's Lamone has Chacon against the ropes. Here's a right. 
And here's a right. I was right. It was a right hand. It was a right hook by Lamone. And you see that bottom strand of the ring ropes held Chacon up. He's sitting on him. But he was assessed a standing eight count. In other words, that's like scoring a knockdown against him. So, Bazooka Lamone with a big, big round in the seventh. Chacon is charged with a knockdown, in effect, a standing eight count. At least a 10 8 round for Lamone. Bazooka appears well ahead on points. Chacon's left eye cut. Scheduled for 10. It is now not a question, I don't think. Well, Chacon always has that punch, but he's going to have to get lucky. He's going to have to get lucky and knock Lamone out. And I don't think he's got enough punch left to do it. Question now, not who is going to win the fight. Apparently, it's Bazooka Lamone, but will the fight go the distance? Will Lamone, Bazooka, screen left to South Horn Green, will Bazooka in it? Upset, win it by decision, or will he win it by knockout? Or will the referee stop it? And that is called a knockout if the referee stops it because Chicago is in such bad shape. Stops it because of an eye cut, it should be quite a technical knockout. Now, the eye cut, remember I mentioned the butt rule, the eye cut is open with a punch, so forget about the butt rule. Chicago can't continue because of the eye, he loses. Chacon, a former featherweight champion of the world. This may be the swan song tonight. This may be the last time he ever steps into a ring. But I hate to say that about fighters. I keep coming back. Look at Muhammad Ali. Cash and play. Never predicted a fighter as having his last fight. They have a way of not knowing when they're through. One minute left, round eight. Scheduled for 10. Simone has slowed the pace down a little in this round, and I would think so. He's thrown nine zillion punches in the fight. I don't know how he, he can even hold his arms up. Chacon's prime, his hands would have been far too fast for Bazooka Lamone. He would have knocked Lamone out, but Bobby Chacon is not in his prime anymore. Two more rounds after this. Bazooka Lamont. Bazooka Lamont looks a little like Art Aragon, the old golden boy of Los Angeles boxing, doesn't he? Bazooka sort of coasted through round number eight, but even at that, I don't think he got anything worse than an even round of 10 points to 10 round. And with the only, in effect, knockdown of the fight, that in the seventh round, and probably uh, winning most of the other rounds, Bazooka Lamont should have a pretty comfortable lead. Now, that, that's just an unofficial opinion because I don't know how the three officials have it scored. Lamone comes out and tries to nail Chacon with a sneak right hook. <laughs> oh, they don't like each other, not much. Just the one knockdown assessed in round number seven, the standing eight count against Bobby Chacon. Zuka Lamone appears comfortably ahead in an upset. He's in green, he's screen right, the south ball. Jim Healy, ringside at the Forum in Inglewood, California. This is where the Los Angeles basketball Lakers, Los Angeles hockey kings play their games right down on the floor where we sit below the ring.
Chacon's left eye caught early, uh, worsened, but it, not serious. The doctor called in once between rounds and said, nah, whatever cut is at the side of the eye rather than right over the eye in the lid, two minutes left. Yeah, it's not usually serious, not dangerous. Sharp shooting a little bit better here in the ninth round, but he's going to have to do a lot of sharp shooting. Bobby may need a knockout or a ton of knockdowns to pull this fight out. Anytime you see a fighter retreating voluntarily against those ropes like Chacon is, he's using those ropes for two things, to rest arm and to protect him in case he gets hit, hold him up. Another bash on that bleeding, and the left eye is, is bothering Chacon. If he's one minute left, keeps dabbing at it as well. Seconds left, round nine, scheduled for 10. Stone's got a cut, bridge of the nose, too, in addition to the corner of the left eye. Here. But Bazooka Lamon, the green trunks, pinning Chacon in the corner again, and just in superb condition, and I think Bazooka is out conditioning, and out, oh, what's the word? Out aggressive, Chacon. Chacon's corner and let's back up and take a look at round number nine Chacon's screen right look at that left eye it's puffing too in addition to bleeding I don't think Bobby's got 100% vision out of that left eye Brown takes up the chant again Bobby 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 trying to get Chacon fired up but Chacon is still on his stool Taking the every last second of rest. Bazooka is ready for him. The middle of the ring. This is the 10th and final round. One knockdown in the fight in effect. Chacon assessed the standing eight count. That scored against him. Round number eight. Ramon Bazooka apparently comfortably ahead. That's strictly unofficial. I don't know how the three officials have it scored. But Ramon pins Chacon in Ramon's corner. And Bazooka doesn't want the decision. He wants a knockout. He doesn't like some of the things Chacon has said. Right to the chin by Chacon. But Ramon taunts Chacon. He now laughs at him. Ramon has now cut Chacon's right eye as well as the left. Ramon sticks out the right hand. Coach Chacon laughed at him a few moments ago. Chacon's left eye is almost closed. It's not just cut, it's almost closed. He is also cut at the corner of the right eye. Two minutes left in the fight. The only question now, can Bobby Chacon land the one in a million knockout punch? You say it's one in a million that he'll land it. Probably not. Only other question, Chacon now cut over both eyes. Apparently well behind on points. Apparently, I say, that is an official. Will he be able to survive the fight, or will referee John Thomas stop? You know, when a guy is cut over both eyes, when he's losing anyway, when he's taking a bad beating, why let him take a worse beating? And John Thomas, one of the great referees in the world, knows it. As long as Bobby fights back like he is now, the referee won't stop it. Left in the fight. Now Chacon, he's having trouble. Blood and 
both eyes, both eyes swelling, especially the left. He's having trouble seeing the punches, but at least Bobby would like to go out. The former featherweight champion of the world on his feet and lose it by decision rather than have him stop. And the referee, John Thomas, is staying well away from him. John doesn't want to have to stop the fight. Bobby has taken such a beating. He's had both eyes busted up. 30 seconds. He would like to see Bobby Chacon have the dignity of finishing the fight. So the referee's made up his mind. Bobby deserves to enjoy that dignity of going the full ten line. And he's earned it. Five seconds. It's all over. Look at Chacon's eyes. Both eyes cut. Bazooka Lamone knows he won the fight. You know it, I know it, and the only question, I guess, is how decisively did Bazooka win it? Now, ah, let me see here, just for fun, not that my scorecard means anything. One, two, one, two, three, five, six. Well, I've got Bazooka Lamone winning it by six points. That's a, that's a huge, huge advantage. And that's, that's unofficial. We'll wait for the two judges and the referee, but... Uh, there's no suspense about this decision. There's the winner. Screen right, Bazooka Lamone. There's Bobby Chacon over talking to him. Bobby laughing. So now we await the uh, inspector for the State Athletic Commission at ringside. He has the three official cards. And he will just check the addition because it'd be embarrassing, you know, sometime you announce a certain score and find out, well, little slip in the addition. I have to change it later. But in the case of this fight, I'm sure it's so one-sided for Bazooka Lamone. You could do a little bad adding. Uh, blow a couple or three points and it wouldn't matter. Uh, so I think Bazooka Lamone, the decision will show. And Bobby Chacon gets a big hand. He comes over screen lap right by the ring ropes, walking away. And uh, Ryan O'Neill just sat down with us and we're going to talk to Ryan in a moment after the decision. Uh, who won it and by how many points? Not much doubt. Oh, I, I like Bobby myself, but I don't think he'll get the decision. What a terrific fight, though, Jim, huh? Great. I thought uh, Lamont won it by six points. Ladies but we'll find and out. gentlemen, we have a split decision. Hey, Ryan, you're not that far off. I don't believe that split decision, though. Lamont won that fight easily. Judge Marty Denton scores it 96-94. Limon should be more than that. Judge Frank Rustage scores it 96-95. Chuck Cole. Oh, that's terrible. That is terrible. And oh, I hope. The well, the referee will have it right. The referee, John Thomas, scores it 96-95. To the winner, split decision, bring on our quail for school Well, I've been wrong before, folks, but I wasn't wrong tonight. The local boy, Bobby Chacon, they just stole one for him. They didn't steal. I don't mean it that way. The officials are honest, have integrity. I want, I want to interview, wait a minute, here's the referee, John Thomas. John, uh, you scored a 96-95 for Chacon, why? Uh, because I thought Bobby uh, won the fight, Jim, it's that clear. It was a tough, close, hard fight. Uh, Bobby won the early rounds. Uh, Limon started to come on.